Hi friends, welcome back. Today we're talking about solutions in quadratic graphs. So when we have a parabola, we can determine the number of solutions or the type of solutions that are a part of our quadratic function. Uh, let's take a look. For your notebook, you're going to want to write this down. Um, the words solution and x's and roots and zeros, they all mean the same thing. X's, roots, zeros, solutions, all the same things. You may hear it referred to as one of those. You may want to write that down so you have that information. Two solutions means that it crosses at our x-axis in two places. One solution means that it crosses at one place. Um, no solutions mean, and that was a terrible parabola I drew. Uh, no solutions means that it does not cross our x-axis at all. Remember, this is our x-axis right along here. So that's what that looks like. Let's talk about how you can visualize that. All right, so we've got this guy right here. We first, this is in vertex form. So in order for us to identify our vertex, remember it's opposite this, regular that. So four comma two. So this tells us it's gonna be opening down and our pattern is normally, pattern is normally one, three, but we're gonna be multiplying it by two. So two, six. So we go over four, one, two, three, four, up two. Now it's going to open down, so we, but our pattern is 2, 6. So we go over 1, down 2, over 1, down 6, 3, 6. There we go. Again, that's over 1, down 2, over 1, down 6, like that. Now, this would be a case of having two solutions for, our, for this guy right here. And sure enough, those solutions are this right here. So our solutions are uh, over one, two, three, up zero, and four, five. So three and five is where it crosses on our x-axis. So those would be our solutions, aka our x's, aka our x-intercepts, our roots, our, any one of those, our zeros, that's what we also call it. Uh, okay, so let's practice another one of those. This guy right here. Now this one is in standard form. So for us to graph it, we first have to find our vertex. Remember, x equals negative b over 2a. That's gonna give us negative, negative six over two. So we get x equals positive six over two, which equals three. So for our vertex, we have three comma, and to figure out our y, we have to plug that back in. y equals three squared minus six times three plus nine. So nine minus 18 plus nine, nine and nine. So that gives us 18 minus 18. So y equals zero. So when x is three, y is zero. Okay, now uh, looking at this, our pattern is gonna be, pattern is one, three, and it's not gonna change because our a is of one. So we go over three, up zero. And our pattern is over one, up one, over one, up three. This is our up, over one, up one, over one up three. And there we go, we've got our parabola right there. Now this is a case of one solution. So we only have one solution here and it occurs at three comma zero, three comma zero. Uh, let's take a look at this next guy. All right, so this is a negative, so it's gonna be opening down. Our vertex is opposite this guy, regular this, so two comma negative four. Our pattern is one, three, and five if you want it. I haven't been doing five, but you can do five. Uh, and our A here, the negative just tells us it's opening down, that's it. Uh, the A is one, so our pattern is gonna remain the same, one, three, five. So we go over two, down four, and then our, we open downwards, over one, down one, over one, down three, over one, down one, over one, down three. So this is a case where we have no solutions because you'll see that this does not cross our x-axis anywhere. Hopefully this helps and we'll see you next time.